Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a drop down where you can click on it and then the URL will take you somewhere on the web. Now if you're familiar with uh, URLs, if you type it into a cell in Excel, let's say for example I type uh, www.bing.com, Excel automatically creates a hyperlink to it. You can see that it's changed color and if you hover over it, it puts the http dot uh, colon slash slash in there and when we click on it, it will open up the, your default browser and it will take you to the hyperlink that you go to. So that's one way that we can have a hyperlink in there. It's kind of already embedded. But let me go back. If, if we didn't want to have this like this, maybe we want to create a list of hyperlinks and we didn't want it taking up a whole cell and we just wanted a drop down, there's another way we can do that. Unfortunately, we do have to have a, a, a source list that is kind of a drop down, but you don't have to uh, have it all in different rows. It basically that'll be your source file and you can hide it. Uh, this could be useful for something like if you give it to somebody and you just want them to look at the drop down and just click on that and go somewhere. What we need to do is we need to create a data validation list. And data validation list would be something like this. If I go into an Excel here, I would go under the uh, data tab and go under the data validation commands under the data tools. Once I click on that, it will open a data validation window and what I need to do is check off the list. And my source, I'm going to type equal and select my list here. Right? Now the source here can also be a name range. Basically I can call it URL and that's, that's after I've defined this range, these range of cells as URL. I give them a name. But I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to select my range here. It's B2 to B4. Click OK. And if I see my drop down here, if I click on it, it will show up with the URL. Now in this by itself, it doesn't really take you there because it just gives you the text. So what I need to do is create another cell here that kind of just takes me there. Let me double click this to auto fit there. And I can just use the hyperlink command. Type equal hyper and I'll just press the tab. And my link location will be anything I select under here in the drop down. And I can give it a friendly name. Uh, I can say click here to go Go, go there or just click uh, Google. But since this is going to be a list of different sites here, I'm going to give it some more um, descriptive text. So, and you have to put this into in quotes. I'm going to say here, I'm going to type select, oops, select option and click here to go to, go to site, right? Close quotes, close parentheses, press enter. And let me double click that. So if I selected Google, I can click on that and it's going to open up the browser and go to www.google.com. If I select something else, I select the drop down, I go to DuckDuckGo and I click on this, it will open up a, another browser. This, in this case, it's the browser tab and it's going, it's going to go to DuckDuckGo, that particular browser. Let me go back to this. So that's one way of doing it. Now you, you would also have noticed that in this particular source, I had to add the HTTP colon slash slash to, to, to take me there. If I didn't have that there, it would not work. So for example, if I took that, press delete, press enter, and I clicked and selected Google again, and I select here, it'll give me an error file because it doesn't really know what to do with that, that www.google.com. You need to you need to have the uh, HTTP in front of that. So this is just another way for you to do to embed hyperlinks in your Excel file. If you do some kind of research or something like that, or you want to give this to someone and you didn't want a long list of URLs for them to go to, and you want to give them the drop down, and maybe you would hide this list in another tab. That's one way that we can do that. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.